Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. The exam could ask you a question about audit data analytics used as a substantive test. ADA can provide auditors with powerful tools for performing substantive tests in a financial statement audit. With the help of ADA, auditors can identify any unusual transactions or trends that may indicate a potential error or fraud. This is usually more efficient than manual methods. By using ADA as a substantive test, auditors can enhance the quality of their audit because ADA tools can handle large amounts of data and can often identify issues that might be missed with manual testing. For instance, instead of sampling a subset of transactions, audit data analytics can review all transactions, providing a more complete view of the business's financial activities. The first stage in using audit data analytics as a substantive test is planning the audit data analytic. This stage involves understanding the audit objectives and defining the scope. Auditors identify the financial statement areas where data analytics can be applied as a substantive test and then determine the data requirements. If we were auditing accounts receivable, for example, our objectives would include verifying the existence assertion, valuation, and rights and obligations. The auditor needs to understand what data the client has, where is it stored, how is it structured, the data quality, and how it can be accessed. And this would likely involve discussions with the client's IT and accounting departments to understand the data structure, the storage, and how the accounts receivable process is handled. So with ADA, what's the first stage? Planning, and the exam will expect you to know that. And then it's on to identification and extraction of the data. And once again, the auditor works with the client to identify and extract the necessary data from the client's system. And this involves pulling or retrieving data from the relevant sources such as maybe the ERP system if they have one, a customer relationship management system if that's where the data is, or other databases or systems where the client stores data. In this video, we're gonna assume that we're auditing accounts receivable, so the extracted data might include detailed accounts receivable transactions, customer master data, and possibly even sales or delivery data. So extraction follows planning, an extraction may be a simple SQL query if the client has a sophisticated ERP system, but some systems might not have user-friendly interfaces for data extraction, or they may not support standard query language like SQL, in which case the auditor might need to write complex scripts to extract the data. And if that's the case, that would involve programming languages and a deeper understanding of the system structure and the specific locations of the desired data. After planning and then extraction, what's next? Data preparation, very important stage. Data cleaning is the first step in data preparation. Cleaning involves checking the data for errors or inconsistencies and then correcting or eliminating these issues. For example, data cleaning could involve dealing with missing data, duplicate data, or correcting errors. What goes along with data cleaning is data normalization or transformation. Dates might have been recorded by the client in different formats. Some might have been recorded day, day, month, month, year, year. Others might have been recorded as month, month, day, day, year, year. Well, the auditor would normalize these dates into what's called a standard format for easier analysis. In an audit of accounts receivable, suppose the client operates in multiple countries and records transactions in local currencies in each country. Well, this means that in the raw data, you might have sales transactions recorded in US dollars and Euro and Yen. If you wanna to analyze total sales or outstanding receivable balances by customer or by country, it would be problematic to sum up amounts that are in different currencies. So normalization would solve that by transforming the data into a standard format. So we're doing data preparation now and data cleaning and normalization are important steps in the data preparation stage. What else is part of data preparation? Possibly we might have to do integration. This would involve combining data from different sources or different databases into a single unified data set. This step is necessary when data relevant to the audit are stored in different systems 
or different formats that need to be analyzed together. So we're auditing accounts receivable. So then the transaction data from the sales system may need to be linked with the customer master data from the customer relationship management system, typically using a common key such as customer ID. Just know that integration is part of data preparation, along with what? What else is part of data preparation? Data cleaning and normalization. Cleaning being the first step, looking for errors or inconsistencies, and then normalization or transformation to get into a standard format with the dates. Then if we have to do integration, that's still part of data preparation. And then the last step in data preparation is validation. After the data is cleaned, normalized, and integrated, it's crucial to validate it, ensuring it's now accurate and reliable enough for subsequent analysis. Validation often involves cross-checking the prepared data with source documents or other forms of evidence to ensure that it meets certain criteria or standards. So validation is the last step in preparation, and it may involve checking a sample of data now that you've cleaned it for accuracy, consistency, completeness, and relevancy of the data. For instance, the auditor might verify that all dates are in the correct format, all customer IDs follow the same structure, or all transaction amounts are positive numbers. If the data in the sample is found to match the source documents, then we have validation, and that increases the auditor's confidence in the accuracy and reliability of the entire data set. Validation suggests that the data cleaning and transformation steps were conducted correctly and that the data is now in a reliable state for further analysis. If errors or discrepancies, though, are identified during the validation process, the auditor would need to investigate this, correct the errors, or adjust the data as necessary, and potentially rerun the cleaning, the transformation, or normalization process. So if we still have dates that are in different formats, or if we have transactions with negative amount, receivable transactions should not have negative amounts. If they do, we have to go back and see what's wrong. But if we have validation, then we can leave our preparation stage and go on to our analysis stage. All right, the process of checking the data to ensure they meet specific criteria or standards is known as what? Is that extraction? No. Is that validation? Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Transformation? Integration? No. So the answer is B. Validation is the process of checking data to ensure that it meets certain criteria or standards. This may involve checking for accuracy, consistency, completeness, relevancy. It could also include cross-checking a sample of data against source documents or other forms of evidence to ensure the data's credibility. A is wrong. Extraction is the process of retrieving data from various sources. C is wrong. Transformation or normalization involves converting data from one format or structure to another. D is wrong. Integration is the process of combining data from different sources and providing a unified view. We said integration might be necessary if data for the audit comes from multiple systems or multiple databases, but it doesn't typically involve checking the data against specific criteria or standards. That would be validation. All right, what is not usually a step in the data preparation stage of an ADA audit? So what would you do in preparation? Would we clean the data? Yes, that's the first step in data preparation is cleaning the data. Normalizing the data, yep. A and B, don't pick those because they are steps in data preparation. C, generating new data. Yeah, that wouldn't be done. Generating new data is not part of data preparation. So C looks good. D, converting data into a suitable format. Yep, that's what we do in preparation. So the answer is C. Data preparation and pre-processing usually involves cleaning and normalizing the data, dealing with incomplete data, outliers, inconsistencies, converting the data into a suitable format. However, it does not typically involve generating new data. How about this one? In the context of ADA, data extraction involves what? A, checking the data to ensure they meet specific criteria or standards. Okay, now they're asking about extraction. So letter A is validation. Checking the data to ensure it meets specific criteria is validation. And validation is part of preparation. But the question is not asking about preparation. The question is asking about data extraction. So A is out. B, converting data from one format or structure to another. That's also about preparation, isn't it? So don't pick B. 
C, removing or correcting any errors or inconsistencies. That's cleaning the data. So A, B, and C are all about data preparation, but the question is not asking about preparation. It's asking about extraction. Let's look at D. Pulling data from the relevant sources. There we go. Got to go with letter D. Extraction involves pulling or retrieving data from the relevant sources, such as the ERP system or a customer relationship management system. A is wrong. While it's important to ensure that data meets specific criteria, that's data validation, not extraction. B is wrong. Converting data from one format to another, that's transformation, not extraction. And C is wrong. Removing or correcting any errors or inconsistencies, that's data cleaning, not extraction. How about this? In the ADA process, data integration typically involves what? A. And if you think you know the answer, leave it for me in the comments section. If you want to see the rest of this, where we go over all the stages in audit data analytics as a substantive test, get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark. Go to cpaexamtutoring.com, click on CPA review, one part, and then audit, because the right teacher makes all the difference.